uh, people who lived through it will never forget. The apartments behind me have since been rebuilt, be rebuilt, but 24 years ago during that shaking, the entire original collapsed in on itself, killing 16 people, and our area is due for another big one. It struck without any warning. Evacuate the area. The deadly Northridge earthquake rips through the Southland while most people were asleep, flattening freeways, bursting gas lines, and squashing buildings. Experts say the next big one isn't a matter of if, but when. This is the longest interval Los Angeles has ever had without a damaging earthquake. The 24 years since Northridge. Eyewitness News caught up with seismologist Dr. Lucy Jones at the first annual Future of Resilience event at the Dr. Lucy Jones Center for Science and Society in downtown LA. She says in a lot of ways, Southern California is far more prepared now than it was then. But 24 years ago, more people had lived through other earthquakes. The good news in Northridge, in this bizarre way, was that we had a damaging earthquake in Los Angeles every year for seven years leading up to the event. And so it was high in people's awareness. We need to get back to remembering we need earthquake insurance. We need our water. We need a family plan. For the younger generation that doesn't remember Northridge, technology and social media have played a role in introducing the potential destruction. That damage that used to be, oh yeah, it happened off somewhere there, is now pictures on our phone. And it allows those disasters to be more real. Dr. Jones says we need to change our perception to be better prepared. We need to move beyond thinking of earthquakes as a threat to our lives. Because you're far more likely to die on the freeway or to even be murdered than to die in an earthquake. But it is a huge threat to our pocketbooks and to our way of life. And when that falls apart, people give up and leave and we, we all will lose out. She says that's actually one of her biggest fears, that people will start abandoning Southern California after the next big one hits. But there is some good news that technology for detection has greatly improved since then. An early warning alert system is coming very soon. In fact, the network for it is already in place in California.